about his family? Did you see his answer? His hands started fidgeting and he looked askance. His penniless is flying by the seat of his pants. Handsome boy, does he know it? Peach fuzz and he can't even grow it. I want to take him far away from this place. Then I turn to see my sister's face and she is helpless. And I know she is helpless. And her eyes are just helpless. And I realize three fundamental truths at the exact same time. Where are you taking me? I'm about to change your life. Then by all means, lead the way. Number one. I'm a girl in a world in which my only job is to marry rich. My father has no son, so I'm the one who has to social climb for one. So I'm the oldest and the wittiest and the gossip in New York City is insidious. And Alexander is penniless. Huh, that doesn't mean I want him any less. Elizabeth Schuyler, it's a pleasure to meet you. Schuyler. My sister. Number two. He's after me because I'm a Schuyler sister that elevates. Satisfied, have to be naive to set that aside. Maybe that is why I introduced him to Eliza. Now that's his pride. Nice going, Angelica. He was right. You will never be satisfied. Thank you for all your service. If it takes fighting a war for us to meet, it will have been worth it. I'll leave you to it. Number three. I know my sister like I know my own mind. You will never find anyone as trusting or as kind. If I tell her that. She'd be silently resigned. He'd be mine. She would say I'm fine. She'd be lying. But when I fantasize at night, it's Alexander's eyes as I romanticize what might have been if I hadn't sized him up so quickly. At least my dear Eliza's his wife. At least I keep his eyes in my life. To the groom, to the groom, to the groom, to the groom, to the bride, to the bride, to the bride, from your sister, who is always by your side, to your union, and the hope that you provide, that you always be satisfied. And I know